Well, the January thaw that many of us have been enjoying this past week has been nice for outdoor activities. But as our Josh Peterson shows us, the warm weather has also been detrimental to winter fun. On a January afternoon, the Bemidji City Park is normally alive with winter fun. But due to the stretch of mild weather we're experiencing, the park sits quiet and the outdoor rinks and facilities have had to close. Outdoor rinks have been super busy up until this point and then um, sometime last week, of course, we lost most of our ice. So um, they've been closed for about a week now and we're working hard to reflood and get things reopened as soon as the weather kind of cools off a bit. What normally this time of year is covered with a blanket of white snow is showing large signs of brown and green, a scene more commonly seen in March or April. Here at Bemidji City Park, the ice has melted so much that the grass is starting to poke through the ice, creating a possible hazard for those who want to skate. So as it starts melting and we have a lot of dirt showing, those are kind of trip hazards. So we do our best to get it reflooded and we try to keep them closed as much as possible so we can really get a nice flood on. So when people go out there, they don't have to worry about um, tripping over dirt. The warm weather has not only had an impact on the parks, it has also raised some concerns for Bemidji's upcoming Winterfest. We're definitely behind schedule, but the weather forecast looks favorable and assuming we don't get a lot of snow and a lot of wind, we'll be fine. Current temperatures are not ideal for making ice, so it may be a week or longer before the outdoor rinks see some skating action. We'll keep them closed until we have a good, good level surface on there, so it may take us a little while, but we have every intention of getting them open again. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. To find out information on the parks and their current conditions, we've posted a link on our website at lptv.org news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.